All right, guys, back at you with another video. Pretty excited about today. We're gonna fish a creek that we've never fished before. It's freezing cold out today, but we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully the fish are gonna be active. I don't know, it's pretty cold. Two days ago, it was 50 degrees. Now it's snowing, it's 20 degrees. What does it say? 12 degrees. <laughs> so it's pretty cold, but uh, it's the last day that you can fish for trout in an approved trout stream. So we're gonna hit it. I'll catch you when I get there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. We made it a little over an hour drive. I'm flying solo today, but excited about it. new stream. Uh, we had a little bit of a warm up 19 degrees so i'm bundled up it ain't too warm at all uh the creek looks pretty good uh i have not fished in it before i still know that i can find the trout if there's any trout there i'll give them a bite just gotta read the water like my father always told me all right guys i made it here looks like a decent spot i'm gonna give her a shot looks nice it's nice and deep i'm gonna start with a white minnow now, see how this goes. Long walk, went off over the mountain. Thank goodness I found a, a spot where I could take a deer path down through, but hopefully it pays off. Still breathing heavy from the walk. I don't really like this shallow, fast stuff, but when you're fishing a new stream, you don't know what it's like. You got to take the good with the bad. Try to find them. Hard to keep my line tight because it's got water on. It's freezing, causing a bunch of slack in my reel. Got a whole bunch of line just not it's not going tight that's not good nice uh, uh, overhanging rock right here i figured they would have been laying in there nice little channel for them there we go nice one real nice one sweet on a minute oh i lost them oh that's a bummer let me tell you about these white minnows you lose a bunch but i could have already netted them but i wanted to bring them to the shore without netting them teaches me i knew there's a nice little overhanging rock a nice little channel down there for them to feed food to come down through there and they're right there son of a gun that's how it goes Good chance there's another one in there though because that wasn't even underneath this rock but we know there's fish in here let's see if we can if his buddy's in there great bait after this one, i'm gonna change we're getting our split shot on we change over to red, see if we can't get him to eat red. I doubt he's going to eat anything after that, but even green. But we're going to go red. No, we're going to go pink. Just a little closer. Those are the ones you don't want to get away. Definitely be a crook to fish in the summer when it's warm. There's two walls here. See if we can't fish them. We're going to have to leave this right here. Of course the camera had to die on me guys but got this got this old brownie here nice little one hit on a minnow about a thousand though here i freaking lose the big one then i catch one my camera dies this is brutal though i will say that damn wind's just a freaking whipping holy hell never had such a rough time although i usually don't fish in the winter either guys not much Maybe early spring, but I'm up in that tree. One more cast, we'll move along. And I'm back in it. See what I'm on there? That wasn't a good cast, so we gotta do that again. Of course, right? One more cast. Still sucked, but all right, one more cast. Get down below that. One branch, that'll work. All right, we're moving on. It is nice enjoying nature. Okay, moving on. Guys, I can tell you 100% certain there's something in this hole. Nice fast riffle into a nice long deep hole. Still has a bunch of flow to it. Let's see if we can't pull one out here. Looks so good. It's a nice holding hole too. Like it'd probably hold in here all year. Let's see if we can't pull a big brown out of here. I'm probably gonna have to put another weight on there. I seem to have lost one, at least one. I don't like to put them on too tight because then crimps your line creates a weak spot i'll go with one more for now i might have put another one on oh i had them on oh it's slack line in there of course i was reeling up the slack line trying to get the knot out from it freezing and whatnot i felt them fighting you mother son of a son of a gun 
Try to get it where it necks down a little bit. This is a beautiful hole though. Got him, nice one. Real nice one. There we go. That's froze, of course. But, probably 18, I'm guessing. Goodness sakes. I don't know how people just, they're like fish whisper. There we go. Nice fish. Let's release him. There he goes. I knew there was one in there. Here, I'm gonna move on. Really? How the hell do I get over there? But, gotta hit it. All right, guys, let's just go back to this truck. Walk several mile, but we did catch an 18 to 19, or maybe 20 inch uh, rainbow. We lost the first one, but, <clears throat> excuse me, about the same. And we caught a 13 incher. And we had one other bite and froze my butt off. But it was well worth it. I got out. But there's my day flying solo. Till next time, be safe.